we are trying to take people to become researchers. It's all about research. So this is no longer about taking classes. Uh, it's no longer about uh, uh, basically doing exams. It's about innovation. Can you think about new things? Can you carry out research? So the evaluation process is all about can you predict who can be the next uh, big researcher, who can come up with the next cure for cancer, who can come up with the next uh, uh, revolution in computers. Obviously, until the end of college, most people don't do any research. So you have to look at what they have done and, and try to figure out, okay, are they going to be good researchers? The main way to evaluate research is publications. So uh, uh, if you have a publication at a good venue, that already can kind of give a feeling, okay, somebody looked at these publications, getting into a big venue, these publications will be reviewed thoroughly. That means a good group of peers reviewed these publications and actually gave it a vote of approval by accepting it. And that gives a lot of credibility to research. So having publications matters a lot. Obviously grades matter. Recommendations matter a lot. Get to a top conference sometimes is hard. But what I would say is, so when I look at something, there are hundreds of conferences. But 90% of the conference is in, in, in compressors I don't even know about. And so it is a name, I don't know what it is. Uh, it really matters, and a lot of times when you get applications, you have enough applicants. I mean, MIT, what, it's about 5% uh, applicants get selected uh, in here. So there's a very large number of applications. So, what does it make? How do you reduce the risk I'm taking? I, I have a lot of things. So, so one thing is if they are published in a place that I know about, then some say, ah, I know this place. If you are trying to research that I am doing right now here, you are competing with me. And that could be much harder because I, I, I mean, I'm on top of it. I go look at uh, uh, what other people are doing. And, and, and in fact, we kind of set the research agenda. So, so competing with that can be hard. What are the advantages you have in Sri Lanka? Okay. And, and what you can look at is not what you don't have in Sri Lanka. So the key thing is to find a research problem. In fact, if you look at a PhD, what do a PhD get? PhD is not about doing the research. Most of a good PhD is about choosing problems. First, go figure out what the area you might want to see. Like. I mean, this is a big decision. I mean, if, if you are successful, this is what you are going to spend the rest of your life doing. Research is very independent. Okay? They have to be a, they have to have positive attitude, everything. They have to be a go-getter. You have to give, get things done. You can't be passive. You have to be a very active person. If you know what you are doing, if you can see the end of the tunnel, it's not a PhD. 